Hi guys, it's Neil from Tax TV. Um, as you're all aware, we're a Q&A session the other night. I said that I want to do a, an update on things, uh, just for work and uh, commitments and that. So I'm able to do a video uh, for you guys. So uh, before we start on Q&A session, I just want to thank all patrons that have been helping out. And there will be a, a giveaway end of season. Um, if you're not already a, already a Patreon, uh, you can join in, you know, the uh, links. Uh, if you join on that from a pound, uh, three pound and five pound, and there will be a giveaway, there will be a random draw giveaway. Uh, it'll be personalised and pick your own number out. If you want to go on Retro Wheels, there's some uh, frame pictures on, on there. Um, and you can, you know, if you look a person that's been drawn out, if you let me know in, in, you know, email, I will get in contact with you and get your name, get your own personalised number and to be posted. You can, you, you can pick whichever uh, picture you want. I think there's like a Land Rover, a Vespa and stuff like that. Um, but that's what patrons, if you've not already signed up, please do so. Um, you know, it's from like one pound, three pound, five pound a month. Don't make any profit out of it. Whatever gets done, it goes towards all the software and upkeep of the channel. But what bit is left of it will be a giveaway or giveaways uh, through the season. Uh, just as my appreciation for saying thank you for helping Tax TV out. So let that keep going for a bit and then we'll get on to the QA session. So, right then. So, first off, I just want to thank uh, Khalid for the organi uh, you know, for organising it. The original one got called off due to him not being well. Um, Spot 130 people there, but I've want that, whether it was due to work commitments and that may be rescheduled. Uh, maybe a bit, might have been about 50, 60 people there kind of thing. Uh, before the evening started, went around each and every one, shook you know, shook hands, thanks for attending, which was pretty good to see. You know, wanted to um, get involved and be that bit of a bond there. Uh, first question, you know, it's probably all been on social media and that what, what's been said. Uh, or certain parts, I'll try and not repeat. I'll try and figure out what uh, things have, have been missed or not been highlighted. Uh, first question he got asked was about his self, um, his background, and I know, you know, he's been to America, Sweden, you know, learning, been a scout in uh, MLS. And he got opportunity to come here as a CEO. And he snatched his hands off straight away, he wanted to come over, which, um, you know, wants to better his son. Um, he's come in, uh, he admitted failings, you know, he was like saying from September onwards, you know, it's down to him. Uh, out before then, it was pretty hard. So, question we're getting asked, you know, about the the transfer situation, which we all knew about. You know, certain players what have been signed or players what have been signed under uh, Paul Conway, and more or less admitted that want to know why processes won't follow through. You know, if we've got a process. You know, questions we're getting asked. If we've got a process to follow, for identifying players and what meet his criteria. <clears throat> but why won't it follow through? And like I said, it he, he couldn't really answer. He explained on the uh, recruitment side that it was everything was covered uh, in regards to identifying a player, watching numerous videos, data analysis, the medical team getting involved, you know, uh, for background checks and watching them, you know, have uh, everything, you know, have a run, have a react to things. Um, that needs to, you know, he alluded to, it needs to be uh, fine-tuned and tweet. Why is it we've got so wrong? He did try to address it in January. Um, and obviously, on this sheet where he ran about, he didn't go into detail because we didn't want to give too much away, but we've got to have, like, green boxes, green ticks, uh, green ticks. And it varies everything from the wage... You know, did the player want to come? And it breaks down, breaks down, breaks down. Um, again, the experience where it got used a lot. And he was like saying, you know, someone like Styles was playing under games, his experience. And 
But I think what we're trying to allude to, what question we're getting, Ben and uh, Firebat were leaders and characters as well, which you kind of agree because you, you know, you identify such as like Woodrow, so power previous when we signed him under, you know, when current regime signed, you know, Saul Bauer and like gone, gone back, which again opened up another one way of well on about um, loan players, what value do we bring to the club? We're not really our players. And it was one thing that we didn't really want to do when we took over, we wanted to develop his own players, but with the situation that we're in, they were only options that were available. You didn't go into too much detail about targets that we missed out in January, but I think we're a fair bit there. What you know, I think he wanted to do a bit more business while we're getting understanding about that. So, again, come around to manager, um, how many managers have we had for the past couple of seasons, you know, and consistency. Why do we have a start off poorly? Is it something we should be looking at in pre season? We all start off, you know. 10, 12 games, we all start. So, is it something else what could get altered there? Again, he, you know, he understood the frustration on the the managerial side. Um, question again asked about such as Shop and Poya. They're going to the same process, apparently, where they also get identified and background checks and things like that. And he also went back to like, well, this regime as well, but brought in Ishmael and it worked out. So it was a bit of 50 50 after the one six other, which was kind of justified. You know, he could fight it back and survive. But, but then when you look back, the current regime also, Mireish, you know, Stendhal, we brought in, which were good. Struber stayed up at last seat. So it swings and roundabouts. Apparently, there's no agenda for a non-English coach or manager, whatever you want to word it. It's just that at the time, did or does, did the managers had coaches, but they want to come to Barnsley. The way structure, yet again, what could we bring? And again, it was more or less similar process to, you know, like, right, we've met all this category and move on to the next. Do they fit this into this? No. Uh, so it apparently it goes on like that. <clears throat> Again, but we're not spreadsheet shown, but this is how it was explained to us. So kind of got it. Uh, didn't see no benefit in, you know, getting, you know, relieving a manager like such as now uh, for the last few games of the season. Everybody's under review, and I'm guessing everybody, that's including players, managerial, everybody's under review. Want to have a, an assessment on what's happened in the, you know, this season basically from August pre season onwards. Uh, failings. Uh, got asked about the West End yet again. Admitted that the PR, that again was uh, miscommunicated, wasn't good, lessons to be learned. Didn't want people, you know, but it was fire. Um, it was something to do with fire risk assessment. Roughly about, maybe, don't quote me on this, but like I said, he got asked, well, how much did it cost? We had even figures, roughly could have been £10,000, might be a bit more, might be a bit less, but again, he didn't have figures on him at the time, but it was something that had to be done. It was never, ever, you know, something what he wanted to do. I'll spare the moment. It had to be done for safety reasons. And he contacted Conway, Paul Conway, in, in contact with the Crimes. And he also contacted the council and explained the reasons why behind it. And works, what had been done, had been completed and must have obviously met the safety standards to get him moving on. Went on from um, season tickets. So a question what being asked were... Pretty good questions, to be fair, um, on about, you know, what options were there to uh, freeze them, to increase them, to offer some kind of discount, the Red Reserve Plus, 
you know, all kit and caboodle kind of thing, the voucher scheme again, but all everything getting mixed up. So a pretty good uh, questions getting asked with seeing to kits and took decision to, to freeze them, uh, do away at Reserve Plus, and all seeing to kit holders are going to get a discount in shop as regards the, uh, the, the shirts uh, in the shop. So that was pretty good. Looked at other possibilities. Um, if we could do discounts, uh, could get massive. I think there's the 135 year anniversary, where it's going to be 135 people going to get uh, discounts on the on the tickets, for seeing tickets. Also, we it be 135 year anniversary. It's 25 year anniversary since we're in Premier, so it's going to be events. Apparently, don't know too much about it, but it's going to be events and that for next year um uh, uh, anniversary of that so there's a lot of positive things coming up uh agreed that uh it were an answer a choice decision you know and he understands the situation regarding seeing tickets um didn't accept the r word the relegation word which is you know i you know in his position is it, until it's mathematically possible so he's very optimistic, you know, he will have a 1%, I think, you know, 99% uh, in room, I'll, I'll know that it's more or less written on wall. But um, I think he come out with a quote, I, I had a word, it was a pretty good, he says, I'm only 1%, he says, but if uh, I can get to 2% before evening's over, I will make some kind of headway. But I think he knew deep down, um, you know, failings, what, what kind of season it's been. Which are reflecting on the, you know, <coughs> the things happening both on and off pitch, which is aware of and being monitored. Um, again, good intentions. Uh, believe my my opinion. My opinion. Um, you may agree, disagree. Again, if you do, please leave your comments below. Keep it respectful. We've all got our own opinions. Uh, run about at a certain amount of season tickets. Um, people not attending because uh, how it is and you know he, he kind of understands it he, he hurts um but again we, you can't make anybody attend it's all about choice and decisions some people might not be able to i mean being honest in my you know how i look at it is that some people might not be able to afford a, a scene ticket this season because we cost of living going up and that so you've got to put priorities first and another question what got asked was if you weren't able to attend, um, you know, in a season ticket holder, some people take it option to go and travel. So if we're worrying about the point system, traveling away, what would that mean for point system? So that's another thing we've been currently reviewing and looking at. So there are a vast variety of things what were right season tickets of all wanting to do. Um, someone came up for like, you know, uh, under 14s are it had been uh you know instead of under 12 it's gone to 114 so that discount will be uh, looking at 65 you know 65 year olds oaps and so for a vast variety of uh things just dis being discussed and and like uh andy clark will be here also he, he like saying we're constantly reviewing it we're wanting to better it we want to try and you know get that fan engagement which i, I kind of believe i kind of believe i just think that you know if we're putting a send up there knowing we're going to get like a barrage, but questions and uh, pressing questions getting asked. And, and again, someone else asked, what was the, you know, why one of, you know, Paul Conway or someone else sat there and answering it? Because Khalid's answering what he can, but you've got to think before, you know, first, what, four or five months of season? He wasn't making many choices. So, again, he went from September onwards. This is, you know, I'll tip. So, you've got to, like, look at the overall picture. Um, so, he explained it. My, my question as well, when he, when he were asking about the season tickets, is that what would your guys, you know, want? You know, what what what, what could we do to get people in with season tickets? My question was, if fans are disenchanted, and want some open belief, and you've got the owners, you know, above, going out and getting another club and investing in other clubs, 
what belief and what hope is there, what commitment is from, from them owners to Barnsley? What's what's making me as a fan wanting to go out and buy my, you know, with my earn, hard-earned money, go and get a season ticket for next season, knowing full well that the owners are wanting to just add to another club. They add to add another club to the portfolio. There's no real commitment to this club or any other clubs, but Barnes is our main thing. Um, and I also asked him, you know, because poss possibility for loan players going back, a couple out of contracts, which were also told on the night as, as well, before it went to social media, just that Matty Wolf have signed a two year contract, uh, which were good, which were great. Time down, but my question was is that do you think our squad is not the team the squad is undervalued and uh, dimin uh, diminished because you can name uh, first 11 pretty decent 11 when you look else you know you look on the bench onwards and it's no disrespect to players but it's pretty bare it's not strength and depth and if we're going to be in League One, then we're going to be playing more more games. We're going to be playing week and midweek. We we need for banning injuries, suspensions, whatever. We need a pretty strong setup, and we have not got that now. We're in Championship, so we're going to be playing more games in there. So that's when he got round to recruitment. He also got on about um, the training side of things. They're looking, re reviewing. They've all they've obviously got transfer targets. Uh, players in mind, but he's not gonna. He, he won't tell us what the methods were, i.e., <clears throat> how we're gonna attract them kind of players to a, to a club like ours. So if if you if you just go down, it's gonna be hard to attract a certain kind of personnel. But we've got, we've got targets identified. Obviously, if you're in championship, it's a different kind of player. If you're in league one, it's gonna be. So we've got we've got like. Like I said, tool list kind of thing. We won't load into what we're going to be doing. Players under review. So, like I said, players will be coming. Players will be going. The question got asked, is there any possibility, any at loan players, what, uh, uh, what we've got at minute? Have we got any chance of signing any eight players? And he smiled and he wouldn't say no and he wouldn't say yeah, but there's things... What we're working on again, probably don't want to get tip off to any other clubs or anything like that. So, you know, it won't look, it won't commit in the center saying yes or no, but his demeanor and his body language said otherwise that we're working on things and possibilities and options. So, again, believed him in that we're trying what we could do for the, for the club. Uh, with the money, you know, available. Because fair enough, we're going to be losing money going down. Inevitable that some players will be going. He didn't say who. Obviously, they're under review, you know, like everybody is at clubbers. Another question got asked was about the appeal to Reading. Was it just Barnsley or were it other clubs in championship? He declined to comment. Um read that into what you will but all he did say which I fully agree with is that all we just want was the integrity of the AFL to stand you know by the models and financial fair play which I fully agree with um, in my opinion was it a bit bad timing or did it come out did it get leaked out was this done a bit earlier and it just happened to come out at the time but we're playing you know I don't know it just sent a bit you know, because he got mentioned briefly about ground share. They go into depth, but again, old news being resurfaced. So, what a co coincidence. On about players, God, I'm sorry, guys, it's like, because it went on, even that meeting went into, into extra time, because uh, it was supposed to be seven while nine. It was like half ten, something like that when it finished. So, I'm, I'm trying to condense it down as much as I can. But make it uh, re relevant points out. Uh, also on about the training with the under twenty threes, basically took like now. There's no, you know, the 
cert certain players from under twenty threes are training with the first team, and the other lot are training with the under eighteens. So it's not like under twenty threes training on their own. They like split up and rotated round, which I, I think is kind of good because you've got Martin Devaney more involved in first team. So better understanding from the on my on my uh, thoughts is the youth, youth set up kind of thing. So it's like giving them a bit of a mixture, having a bit of a taste of first team training and. So something else of what is wanted to do, wanted to improve the catering side of things. Wants the club to be, you know, it, it, it said like eleven thousand people seeing tickets, and realistically, I think he knew. But what he's wanting is, oh well, to be bouncing. He'd been like I said, been in talks, discussions with council, regards lease and everything like that. So a lot of discussion with council positives. Um, I think my own opinion. This my own opinion. This is that it seems a genuine enough guy. Genuine enough guy. Um, he means well. He really wants Barnsley to succeed. He wants about his family. He's wanting to, you know, he loves the the place. He loves, his, you know, he's, he just wants the best for the club. I think, and again. Please leave your comments below, if uh, you know when you watch this. I believe if it was different people behind him, I think they'd support him even more and better. And I think it would make a go in it. I think he's being held back. Um, my take on it is that he wants to do what he wants, you know, to improve. It's it, and this is not his words. This is my words now. Has he got certain constraints? Has he got, you know, has he been held back to do certain things? I don't know. But he is wanting to try and better the club, make it a better experience for fans, offer things out to fans. He wants to engage with the fans, you know, both in club and out and about at club. He's wanted to engage it. He's wanted to buy into it. And in, in all fairness, I, 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 I just think... And people say, yeah, he talks a good thing, he talks this. And, but he's putting his neck on block. You know, he's, he's, he's putting his neck on block. He's there to answer all of these questions. You know, he doesn't have to hold these forums and that. But he's doing this. Whether it all gets really laid back to, you know, uh, Conway and Lee, I don't know. But Khalid does actually, he's, for me, I, I'm seeing it as, he is trying. Like I said, we're all going to agree and disagree on certain things. And at the end of the day, we all want best for, best for club. Mistakes have been made, simple as. Um, and he alluded to everything's getting reviewed, everything from top to bottom. People that work at club, hats off to, you know, hats off to him because Beth will be uh, answering questions with regards to tickets and their way. You know, Andrew Clark will be here as well. So it's it's like hats off to people what we're here. Because we've got a genuine interesting club and it's our club in it. And I just hope that good times will come back soon. Um you've got to call it for what it is. What can I say? It's a lot of things, you know, with catering side and catering side from queues and Accessibilities, everything were covered. Prioritizing more things, what should have been done, um, and it's just see how it goes from this season. Just see how it goes from this season, and like I said, it, it you know it went down at Ponty end, um, and how many C, you know how many CEOs going Ponty end, knowing that they could get a barrage. You know what I mean? So. I genuinely think he wants the best for the club. My own take on it is that if he had different owners, you know, I think they're buying to it and we could see what he's trying to do. You know, he's wanting to get this club and turn it and change it and improve it for better. And I just hope that he, Khalid, I just hope Khalid uh, gets the backing that he deserves. Because I think you can make a go in it. We're all human. We all make mistakes, but we learn from we learn from his mistakes. And all being well, 
get this season out of the way because it's been a right off season. Get a decent pre season in, and we've got to hit ground running for next season. Um, that's my take on that. And again, people in here leave your comments and stuff like that. We're also great to see Reese as well. Uh, come up with an old gentleman. I don't know if it were your dad or a family member, but it would be great to have a chat with them as well. So it would be great to see people from, you know, subscribers from Tax TV here as well. Um, after the event, we're over. I went over to approach him. Uh, he shook me on straight away. Uh, appreciated comments, you know, were well, uh, constructive to point prominence. He appreciated it. I offered him, you know, would you be interested in coming on Tax TV isn't it, for an interview? Not a problem. It's fine with that. All being well, I've got to sort some type like now at media side at club. Uh, so I've sent all my stuff off the uh, day after uh, yesterday. Uh, so, you know, to invite him on just to open out to fans. And he understands the frustrations. He understands the frustrations. And all he's wanted to do is trying to bridge that gap and get across to uh, as many bounds of fans as openly and honestly as he can, but he can, you know, without restrictions. He's not going to go into details regarding recruitment of players and contracts and stuff like that because it's obviously still got to get sorted out. But I did offer him an invite to contact TV and he said, Yeah, he'd be up for that. So I'll be well. Um, I don't know if you're going to be watching it, Khalid or anybody from Bounce Football Club. I did send the email off to the media side, um, just waiting for times and dates when. It can be possible to do it, uh, but um, it is shit your hand after it as well. Um, and like I said, this is, we've all got different opinions. You, you agree and disagree, but all we want is just to be respectful and shake your hand, and you know that's it. No grudges and no, you know, hatred. And I'm like, yeah, fine, not a problem. Top man, um, pleasure to meet him face to face. Um, so all being well, things can get sorted and we can see some improvements. We can see some improvements, uh, both on and off pitch. So, yeah, thanks guys for watching. We'll be getting uh, some content out for the Swansea game. And also we've got the Peterborough coming up on Monday. So it's a, it's a bank holiday. So we're all ready for a bit of a break. Um, appreciate it for everybody what what's tuned in and watched. Thank you to the new sponsors as well. Uh, the links are gross and HC Plumbing Limited. Appreciate that. Uh, goodwill and everything like that. Really appreciate it. It all helps me upkeep it channel. Got any comments? If you want to get involved more, uh, please drop us a, an email to taxtv1419 at gmail.com. Uh, we can get you on channel. We can interview you. We can talk about stuff. We can discuss get your comments fired in please hit that like and subscribe and share it uh, keeps it relevant and it keeps it uh, going uh make everybody aware of what's going off because it's all about us it's our club so oh you have a good you know next couple of days get some content out there one thing left to say you reds mm -hmm.